the emotional charge, the visceral emotional response comes from the prospect's ability to envision the outcome in their mind's eye, right? In their mind's eye. That's where that emotional response comes from. They have to be able to sit back, right? And just, even if it's in a flash, picture what, what it is that you're saying. Well, vague general promises are extremely difficult to envision in your mind's eye, right? We did this, we did this once before. I asked you guys, maybe even twice before. I'm gonna ask you guys a question, and I want, with a show of hands, I want you to show me, show me, who of you can, can, can do me a favor and draw this, draw me a picture of consistent sales. Can you draw me a picture of consistent sales? No? You know, maybe that may be your picture of, you know, of, of consistent, that, that may be yours, right? Somebody else might have something different, like somebody else might have, you know, a, a calendar with, you know, sales on it. So, right, like, I, I don't know, like we might get a variety of, the, first of all, it's very difficult to, to picture that. And the thing is, is that what it, what it then allows is the picture that you create in your mind, if you can not even create one, could be wildly different than the one that David creates in his mind. And so now I'm not really the director in the mind, in, in your mind. I'm not really the director because I don't know what you're conjuring in your mind and I don't know what David's conjuring and I don't know what James is conjuring, right? And so I don't want that. I want you to have a very specific picture in your mind. The picture that I know is going to get your heart beating quicker, is going to elevate your, your blood pressure, get you sweating, get you leaning forward on your chair. I need to know what that is, right? I'm the director of the movie playing in your mind. You don't get that. You don't get that imagery in the mind of the prospect when you make vague, general promises. The promises that you make need to be specific, concrete, measurable. Specific, concrete, measurable. If I said to you, right? I want to, I'll, I'll give you an example. If I said to you, uh, the, uh, um, uh, somebody, uh, a person, somebody walked in to, uh, walked into the store with a gun. What do you picture in your mind? Somebody shout it out. So, so John said they, they walk in with an AK 47. So they walk in with an AK 47. Okay. Somebody else. Some, well, look, some, somebody could, I have, my gosh, somebody, are they walking in to rob the joint? Right. Like, are they, are, are they, walk, are, are, is it a concealed carry? Is it a man? Is it a woman? Is it a criminal? Is it a law-abiding citizen? Right? Like, um, there are so many, that is an example of, that's not specific. It's not concrete. Therefore, it's very difficult to picture in your mind's eye. A lot of times your prospect won't even, when they recognize I'm not sure what it is that they're talking about. I'm not really sure. Is it a criminal? Is it a law-abiding citizen? Is it a rifle? You know, a long gun? Is it a, is it a handgun? Is it concealed? Is it not? Therefore, I'm not even going to attempt to picture it in my mind because there's a good shot that I'm going to picture the wrong thing. So now I just don't picture anything in my mind and I just continue reading or consuming the story. And so now that imagery has no or very little impact on me. Right? Very little impact on me. And so, no... This idea of these generic, general, vague promises roll off the back of your prospect. You'll feel better. What does that mean, man? Like, you, here's the thing to understand. We're not, we're not dealing in the conceptual, man. We're dealing with real people that have real problems, real desires, and want real outcomes. They don't live in the conceptual. They live in the real world. Talk about real world things. Don't talk about, right, intangible concepts, right? The idea of consistency or consistent sales is conceptual, right? If what you mean by consistent sales is you'll have a minimum of a dozen new sales every day that pop up in your inbox, then say that. Don't say the conceptual because I can't picture conceptual. I can't pick, right? Like, th this is something that we're going we're gonna to talk about. The idea of consistency is a concept. People are motivated by concepts. They're motivated by actualities, by reality. Talk in reality. Talk in specific, tangible terms. Specific and concrete. When I think about with specific and concrete, I'm going to talk about measurable in just a second, but when I think about specific and concrete, I, I, I think about, right, that everybody's going to envision the same thing. 
right? Like everybody's going everybody's gonna to envision the same thing. You know what I mean? Like if we said, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever, 60 year old, uh, 60 year old, uh, uh, amazing in shape athlete walked into a 7-Eleven store with a, um, an AK-47 held up with a scowl on his face, everybody's going to picture something very similar. Right, and no one's going to be thinking, ah, oh, that guy's a good guy, law-abiding citizen. He's there for a little Celsius or something. No. What I want you to think about is, I want the promise to be tangible and not conceptual. That's really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about bringing it from right the conceptual to the tangible. You want your promise to be specific, concrete, and measurable. Measurable is unique, and measurable brings an additional. Um, power quality to the promise. And that, what do I mean by measurable? I mean that, right, like as the prospect, I can know objectively if you fulfilled on this promise or not, right? So I, I can know objectively whether you fulfilled on this or not. If I can't know objectively whether you have fulfilled on your promise, then it is not measurable, right? So, you know, like if, um, you know, I have a new system a new um, time management system, and my promise is um, you'll be more productive. How measurable is that? What are you going to use to measure that? How do you know, like, how do you know whether you're experiencing the increase in productivity that I'm talking about or not? It's not measurable, right? That's purely subjective. Like, and am I referring to you'll get more stuff done on your to-do list? Am I, am I referring to your to-do list will be more organized? Am I referring to you're not going to even need a to-do list anymore? Like, it's so nebulous, vague, and general, and intangible that it, it becomes meaningless. A measurable promise is more trustworthy because it makes me feel like, you know what? Teddy gave me a measurable promise of specific outcome. I can hold him accountable. Not necessarily one-on-one -on -one in person, but I can, I can see whether this company legitimately delivered on what it is that they were promising me or not. But when it's not measurable, I, I almost feel like you are hiding behind an, an, a, 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 an unmeasurable promise that I can't prove or determine whether you've actually fulfilled on it or not. Not only does it roll off my back, not only does it not allow me to conjure an image in my mind, not only does it not stimulate that emotion, but it's not as credible for me because it's a great way for you as a company to hide behind this immeasurable promise that I'll have no idea whether it was fulfilled or not. Whereas, you know, Paul makes me a promise like that is absolutely measurable, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, I say like, dang, this dude put himself out there. He is fully exposed because he told me that by this date, I'm going to have this experience, right? Like this specific experience by this date and time, I'm going to know whether he legitimately fulfilled or not, right? A, a, a financial planner who tells you, I'm going to help you make more money. That's their promise. That's a dollar. Like by when, what kind of money? Are you gonna tell me to work longer? Are you gonna give me, right? Are you gonna hire me part-time for a job? Like what, how are you gonna help me make money? But you say, right, I'm gonna, uh, you know, in six months from today, you will have an additional million dollars of cash in your primary bank account when you follow what it is that I'm gonna tell you. Well, now, man, oh my gosh. I, I look at him as this dude's gotta be legit or he wouldn't make that kind of objective, measurable promise. And so what you're ultimately looking for to impact prospects is specific, measurable, excuse me, specific, concrete, and measurable, tangible. Talk about real world outcomes, man. Not this, don't forget copy, forget marketing, forget advertising. They, there's a real outcome that folks want. Tell them about the real outcome. If you're afraid to, to, um, to focus on that real outcome, then shame on you. That's the reality. That's your job, man.